Here we have verse 25 of the 14th chapter of the Gospel of John. Jesus has been giving a fair amount of information to the disciples. Some of it uh, was a surprise to them and probably to some degree was a negative surprise. They hadn't really anticipated that Jesus was going to be uh, disappearing from the scene and they don't quite, of course, understand the full significance of all that he's been saying. But he has given them, an, given them assurance that even though he departs, he's going to be coming back to them. He's going to be coming back in connection with the arrival of the parakletos, the advocate that we've discussed. And of course, Jesus in that connection says, I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. And then he even adds that the Father will be coming. So we have a rather rich idea of God coming in the Trinitarian presence. And Jesus especially connects that to the presence of the Word within them. Of course, that becomes one of the most critically important ideas, uh, not only in John, but in the New Testament, that the Word, uh, you will be my witnesses, Jesus will say uh, later on to these very same disciples. They will have the Word in them, the great power that is connected to that. So Jesus now is going to make a distinction between what he is saying here and what he will be saying through the paraclete who is going to come later. And this short verse really represents something of the transition. So we have tauta, demonstrative pronoun in the neuter, plural. It's in the accusative here. It's the object of the verb. It means uh, these things, the plural, quite a common word, of course, in the New Testament. Lelaleka, this is from laleo, I speak. We have the perfect here. You can always recognize it with the reduplication at the beginning. So we have lelaleka, this is the first person singular, perfect active indicative. I have spoken and continue to speak is the idea. Continue to have uh, words for you that lead right up to the present and continue to be binding. So these things I have spoken. Uh, humen, this is the second person, dative plural pronoun. I've spoken to you, the indirect object. Par, short of para, which is a preposition. Uh, with the dative here, it means with. Uh, so I've uh, spoken these things with humen, so the same word as we had before. Uh, I have spoken to you, with you, is the idea. Menon, from meno, I remain. This is the perfect active participle, masculine, singular, nominative. So it uh, associates itself with the subject of the verb, which is, of course, Jesus. So Jesus says, I have spoken these things to you, being with you, or remaining uh, with you. And so uh, that's the idea. And, of course, he's going to be distinguishing that from the fact that he will be uh, in a sense, still speaking to them in the future, but speaking to them in a different way, not being with them physically, humanly, but being with them rather through the presence of the uh, parakletos, which becomes the uh, subject of the ensuing conversation.